What's up, my name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 tutorial video. In this video, I'll be tackling the common issue of input lag, whether it's caused by Windows or by the game itself. To begin, we'll start with the game itself as it's most likely the cause of this issue. Simply go ahead and open up the game if you haven't already. Then, when in game, head across to the settings menu over here and into the control section at the very top. When in here, simply scroll down and locate first person camera brackets controller and make sure to enable show advanced options at the very bottom here. Then in here, simply look for horizontal turning bonus and vertical turning bonus and change these both down to zero. This should get rid of input lag from a controller. You of course also have turning delay and a couple of other options here that you can go ahead and play with, but this is what we're mainly interested in, horizontal and vertical turning bonus. However, if you're not using a controller, there is another thing that we can try. Number one, head across to the video tab at the very top and make sure that VSync is disabled. If you have this enabled, you will experience some input lag, especially if you're getting very low FPS. Having it on will prevent screen tearing, where the top half of the frame is rendered before or after the bottom half of the frame, resulting in a torn picture. However, having it on will make sure that both of these parts are synced exactly, which will cause some input latency. On top of that, you should make sure that the resolution here matches the resolution of your monitor, and under the graphics section, if you need to lower your graphics resolution, set the static fidelity CAS to on and lower the resolution scaling here. Because I'm on a 2560 by 1440 display, 75% of that is 1920 by 1080. If I lower this down to 50%, I'll be taken down to 720p, 1280 by 720. You'll have to do some maths, but it's rather simple when you get it right. Of course, you can simply just lower this until your FPS is good. You can enable dynamic fidelity CAS, set a target frames per second, minimum resolution, and maximum resolution. I'll leave it on static as I'll be playing the actual game at 1080p. Then finally, if you're still experiencing input lag, you can try closing out of the game, hitting start, typing in mouse, and opening up mouse settings. Inside of here, all we have to do is click additional mouse options, and then we'll have this new window pop up. Inside of here, we'll head across to the pointer options section, and we'll have a couple of options here. All you have to do is simply disable enhanced pointer precision. This is some form of mass acceleration, which can cause input latency or a sloppy feeling control within games. After doing that, simply click OK and we're basically done here. Of course, if you're still getting input latency, make sure that you're actually getting good frames by enabling an FPS counter. If you don't know how, check the description down below. If for some reason you're getting very, very low FPS, try lowering your graphics settings. If you've got a 20 or 30 series NVIDIA card, try disabling ray tracing and enabling DLSS to get much higher FPS within the game. The higher your FPS, the more responsive your game will feel, the less effective input lag you'll have. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!